The history of Tibet is rich and complex, marked by the rise and fall of various empires, dynasties, and cultural shifts. Here's an overview of the major historical phases of Tibet. Asterisk, asterisk, ancient period, 7 at 9 the century. The earliest historical records of Tibet date back to the 7th century when the Tibetan Empire emerged under the rule of Songtsen Gampo. He united various tribal territories and expanded Tibetan influence, marrying Chinese and Nepalese princesses. His reign saw the introduction of Buddhism to Tibet through his wives, Brikuti and Wencheng. Imperial Period, 9 the 12 the century. The Imperial Period of Tibet began with the fall of the Tibetan Empire. Fragmentation led to smaller regional kingdoms and conflicts. In the late 10th century, the Yarlung dynasty regained power, ruling over a vast area that included Tibet and parts of neighboring regions. This era witnessed the construction of impressive monasteries and the flourishing of Buddhist culture. Mongol influence and Yuan dynasty, 13 the 14th the century. During the 13th century, Tibet came under the influence of the Mongols, Kublai Khan's Yuan dynasty exerted control over Tibet, with Tibetan leaders sometimes serving as intermediaries between the Mongol rulers and the Chinese. Our Tibetan Buddhism gained prominence during this time as religious leaders gained influence over political affairs. Sakya and Phagmodrupa rule, 15th century. The 14th century saw the decline of the Yuan dynasty and Tibet regained a degree of autonomy. The Sakya and later the Phagmodrupa dynasties ruled Tibet, and the monastic institutions continued to play a significant role in governance. However, regional conflicts and power struggles purs. Galugpa and the Dalai Lamas, 17th century onward. The Galugpa school of Tibetan Buddhism, also known as the Yellow Hat Sect, gained prominence in the 15th century. The Galugpa sect's spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, emerged as a significant political and religious figure. The fifth Dalai Lama established himself as the leader of Tibet, unifying the region under his rule. Chinese influence and modern era. In the 18th century, Qing Dynasty China exerted more control over Tibet, leading to tensions between Tibetan rulers and Chinese authorities. The 13th Dalai Lama declared Tibet's independence in 1913, but it was short-lived. The 14th Dalai Lama's exile in 1959 marked a turning point as China tightened its grip on Tibet, incorporating it into the People's Republic of China. Contemporary Context Since the 1950s, Tibet has been a contentious issue in international politics. The Chinese government's policies have led to concerns about cultural and religious suppression. The issue of Tibetan autonomy and human rights remains a global concern. Tibet's history is a blend of dynastic changes, cultural evolution, and the interplay between local governance and external influences. Its rich heritage, spiritual traditions, and struggle for autonomy continue to shape its narrative in the modern world. Tibet's history is a blend of dynastic changes, cultural evolution, and the interplay between local governance and external influences. Its rich heritage, spiritual traditions, and struggle for autonomy continue to shape its narrative in the modern world.